Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to What's Up 168. And it's another little, just sort of techie review one. I'm just trying out some more bits and pieces. I need to think of a name for these. It is Tuesday, so Tech Tuesday kind of immediately springs out to me, but they're not going to be that techy because I'm not very techy. Uh, and they're not always going to be on a Tuesday. Yeah, I'll think of a name for these little seg segments. Uh, actually, no, it's not even Tuesday. What am I talking about? It's Wednesday. Anyway, what I am trying tonight is another self-made GoPro mount. Uh, it wasn't not quite as self-made as the previous one, in as much as there was no drilling or too much adjustment made. It was actually just a trial and error combination of loads of different mounts to get one to do what I want. And what I wanted to achieve was basically being able to mount my Karma grip. So I'm back just on this little um, the little quarry road. It's quite late in the evening, which is why you can see all the, a lot of these trucks here parked up. They're basically uh, camping out for the night. But yeah, it's just, I'm not going to be riding very far. It certainly isn't a hill hunting expedition this time. I literally am just testing out the camera. I'm still using the external microphone plugged into my phone, which I think produced much, much better sound results in the last hill climbing video that I did. So that is the way I'm gonna go. It's a pain in the ass because I have to sync it up afterwards, uh, as well as if I'm doing the data overlay, trying to sync that up with the video as well. So it's a bit of a fiddle, but as we're in summer and I'm planning on doing a heck of a lot more outdoor riding, it seems only right that I try and maximize my setup to cater for that. I don't know how this is going to come out, this footage, whether it, the fact that it's stabilizing it. So you look, if I do that, you'll be able to see the turn of my wheels and my handlebars, or well, you should be able to. I don't know whether that makes that better or worse from a viewing point of view. But the main thing is I'm hoping it just sort of stabilizes the footage because no matter what settings I try, particularly when the light starts going down a little bit, I've really not be over, been overly pleased with the quality of the footage on my recent rides. All right, once again, I've come as far as I can go on this little quarry road. So I need to swing around. This will be a good test of the Karma grip. See what it does here. Yeah, it's followed me around quite nicely. Is it going to straighten up again? Beautiful. All right, for the purposes of my data overlay, let's try and put a bit of power down and see how this looks on a sprint. and this seems to be working quite well. So what I'll do, I'm gonna go and have a go at Enterdent Road, a little hill that I've done a couple of times recently. And if the footage comes out nicely, and this, this works, I'll, uh, I'll get my phone out and show you what combination of mounts we used to make it work. Here we are then, Enter Dent Road. Now do I go for a personal best? Yeah, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? I made the mistake of going off too hard at the beginning last time I did this road. So I'm gonna try to keep it a bit steadier on these lower bits. So I've got a bit more to attack with near the top. Bloody hell, I forgot how steep it was. <laughs> it was only the other day that I did it. Uh, 
I'm well off my PB. And I'm not feeling great. So, I'm 20 seconds off at the moment. And I'm just gonna knock it back. Catch my breath. Oh. This is too soon after having eaten. <laughs> Another one of my excuses. But I had just forced, forced dinner down myself prior to this. I think I probably needed another hour to still let it settle. So yeah, 20, 32 seconds off my PB. Hey ho. All right, hopefully there's a nice little spot up here where I can jump off and talk you through the the mount setup. Okay, this looks like as good a spot as any to jump off and have a proper look at everything. There we go. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my phone out now and uh, record this with my phone so you can actually see what I'm looking at. Right, so here we are. And this is how I have mounted the Karma Grip to my bike. You can see I've got like a standard sort of bar mount clamp there that just came, it was, it's not even a, an original GoPro one, this was some sort of third party thing that came in a bag of about 3,000 different connections. And then the way that's hooked on is via this, which actually I've done up really tight, so I don't, yeah, I'm not actually manually going to be able to undo that at the moment. But basically the Karma Grip comes with this little clamp here and the purpose of this is actually to attach it to the backpack that comes with the, the Karma drone. So you can clamp this to the straps of the backpack and uh, while you're walking the Karma grip basically stabilizes everything beautifully. That's the idea. Um, it's not, this part is quick release but I'd have to take the actual stabilization, stabilization cage out in order to be able to pull that off quickly. Um, so what I'd really like is some kind of quick release at this point Kind of like with this. This is the other one I made the other day that I clamped. So I've got the normal cage here and I've used the base of the Wahoo Element mount. So I've screwed through to attach one of the sort of slider plates. So the normal GoPro cage just clips in to that. And that worked really nicely other than the fact you don't get any of the, the stabilization benefits that you get from the from the Karma grip. As you can see, it's not the most discreet looking thing sticking out like that. And when I was out of, oh, let me just push that back in. When I was out of the saddle, sprinting or climbing, on occasion my inner thigh rubbed that just a little bit, not enough to knock it or cause any problems. Uh, but ideally I'd mount that slightly further forward as well. Uh, but uh, this is like I say, this is a real sort of makeshift thing that I just sort of put together this evening. So I'll give it a test. So it would be really useful if I could unclip that quickly from, from the bars so that whilst riding, doing the, the kind of selfie vlogging moments of my recordings, it would be great to be able to just unclip that, hold it up with the Karma Grip on because that would work as, a, as the most brilliant selfie stick just with that full gimbal function stabilization would be lovely. Make, make for some really good shots, I'm sure. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted because I've, these, these sheep behind me, it looked like one of them, one of them was squaring up to another one a minute ago and it looked like they were just gonna kick off. So, uh, yeah, it was just, it was catching my attention. So sorry about that. Uh, what I, what I think what I will do for the ride home, if I can get, if I can loosen that off by hand, I tightened it up with the spanner, so it's, it's really tight. Oh, actually, that, that reminds me. If you look under here, you will see I've also stuck a little bit of sponge to the underneath of the, the grip. It doesn't really move. When it's riding, it bounces, you know, like vibrates like that much. But if it does bounce down too hard, or if this loosens at any point, that just stops it from knocking against the, uh, uh, the top cap. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and undo that and actually hold that in my hands for the short ride that I've got home. I've got about maybe two and a half, three kilometers to get home, mainly on that quarry road, so it's nice and smooth and clear. Um, so if I can hold that in my hand and do some videoing with that, 
uh, that'll be an interesting test of the footage as well. So, um, right, I'm gonna try and try and get that off if I can. Right, I did it the other way. I basically unclipped the gimbal from the, the little sleeve thing here because that is done up so tight, I've got no chance of getting it off. Um, yeah, look. You can see how well this works from my camera, from my phone footage. Look, it's just. Oh, that caught it out. Right, if you're too rough, it catches it out. Um, but it's a great little, great little bit of kit. So let's see what it's like. Riding with it, one handed. A little bit of go juice first. Oh, it's very tasty. I suppose the biggest test is going to be when it comes to braking, changing gear. But I should be, as long as I'm nice and slow, I should be all right on the brakes. I'm just using my rear like this. And uh, I'll just leave it in the big ring. And the big ring and about third or fourth cog down. Should be good enough to see me home on this ride. Oh, first car encountered. He, was, he wasn't going to give me much room. I don't think he was impressed that I was holding this massive truncheon whilst trying to ride my bike down this narrow little road. I'll be honest, this isn't the most sensible thing I've ever done. But I'm doing it pretty late in the evening on the quietest roads I can find and I'm going incredibly slow. So in terms of doing slightly risky things I'm doing it in the least risky way so oh look, I've seen another Dobby can you see that dumped in the woods there what a waste of a perfectly good Fiat Doblo all right in terms of it working as a selfie stick whilst riding the bike, I think it's bloody brilliant. If they can make one now that's about two thirds the length, half the weight, and uh, with a, ideally, a top cap with a slidey clip mount on it. So you could just literally slide the grip onto your top mount, uh, your top cap on your bike and uh, quickly release it if you need to for handheld stuff so GoPro I know you watch my vlogs I know you're one of my millions of viewers out of 600 subscribers or whatever it is and uh, so when you do watch this if you can just let me know in the comments below that you've taken my suggestions on board and we'll be putting that into production very soon. All right, I'm going to trundle home, have a shower. Why oh, am I breathing so hard again? <laughs> I've done, what have I done? How long's this ride been? 12.3 kilometers at, well, virtually no watts apart from a couple of climbs and a quick sprint. And I'm out of breath, woo. I've got to get better at riding no handed as well. I'm all right, like this, when it's perfectly flat, perfectly smooth. But any kind of obstacle or distraction, and I'm all over the place. All right, well, I'm coming to the end of the quarry road. Bit of a junction to get home, which will be a bit tricky. Holding this, well, certainly holding it like this. So I will grab hold of the bars, head for home. I'll sign off now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that was of some use to some of you and uh, anyone that's got a calmer grip. If you've got any, any better suggestions on how to attach that to the bike, I'd be very interested. Or indeed, if that has helped you in any way, let us know in the comments and show me what you've done. So thanks all for watching. Catch you next time. Ciao.